How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. we got a full day of hockey ahead of us today, boys. The Stanley Cup Finals get underway. The Pittsburgh Penguins back in the Stanley Cup Finals, going up against the San Jose Sharks, who are making the trip for the first time in franchise history. It's going to be a good day. I want to talk about this. I want to give you guys my opinions, my predictions. So we'll jump right into it. We'll talk about the San Jose Sharks and... You guys know about the Sharks. With this roster, they've basically had every type of success there is, except for Western Conference Final success. Since the 0304 season, which is 13 seasons now, San Jose has only missed the playoffs once. They've made the second round eight times, and they've appeared in the Western Conference Final four times. Obviously, you're measured by how many cups you win, but that in itself is success over 13 years, man. Patrick Marlowe has been a Shark for 18 years now. Joe Thornton has been a Shark for 11 years. Both these guys trying to win their first Stanley Cup, and also, because they're former captains, trying to win the first Stanley Cup in San Jose, the first franchise cup for them. So there's a lot of stories here. There's a lot going on for San Jose. Will they finally get to lift their first cup or will it be more of the same for San Jose? Another disappointing year. Even though they've they've gotten the farthest they've ever got, it would they, they, they it's it's cup or go home for San Jose with their aging roster. This is the year they got to get it done. And then you look at the Pittsburgh Penguins, you know, uh do I want to edit the lines now? We're okay. The Pittsburgh Penguins, they've made the playoffs 10 times in a row now during the Crosby Malkin era. And a lot of people have given up on this Pens roster, saying things like, you know, 2008, 2009 is a long time ago. The Pens need to change it up to catch up to Chicago or LA. They can't just rely on Crosby, Malkin, Latang, and Fleury. They need depth. And, you know, I, they have a point with that, but you got to look at the numbers. Over the last 10 years, the Pens have made the second round six times. They've made the Eastern Conference Final four times, and now they've appeared in the Stanley Cup Final three times and won a cup in 2009. So it's been a successful era for Crosby and Malkin. Now let's get to the shootout here. I still... Oh, what? what the hell is that? What am I, Swiss cheese? How did that find a way? Nathan McKinnon comes down, shows that skill. You know what? I think it was just the angle I took with Martin Jones. That looked like it was a, a Phil Kessel shot. Found a hole, low blocker. And how about Philly, Philly shot, man? Now that the whole world gets to see it in the playoffs, that guy can go far side low blocker constantly. I don't even know how he does it, but I love that he's doing it. Thomas Hurdle. All right, let's go. Uh, it's been a while. Let's go away. Uh, where'd she go? I don't even know that's the name of it. There you go, baby. Oh, far side turns to short side. And Thomas Hurdle, maybe a dark horse for the upcoming series. We know the big names. Joe Pavelski, Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe on the opposite side. Crosby, Malkin, Waff, you know what, I take that back, Kessel, Haglin, Bonino, who's going to be the, the dark horse in the finals this year, the, the Brian Bickle, the Talbot, the guy who steps up for his team and earns a contract and becomes a top six forward, some of the guys during the live stream were saying Donskoy or Rust, he's made a name for himself, Shiri, a lot of contenders, <laughs> a nice windmills goofball, a nice accuracy as well, look like a blind Vasily Saitsev or something, can't hit the broad side of a barn, Goofball captain, see, super sweet. You should be ashamed of yourself. Joe Pavelski, the third captain with this roster, finally going to the cup. And I want to ask a question about him, but afterwards, inside, backside. Oh, he didn't move at all off that post. I think had he done that, I might have been able to get the 10 all. That might have been going off the post and in. Didn't move. All right, Martin Jones with his, oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, baby, with his toupee popping up the back of his helmet. makes It makes that nice pad stacked save. Off the blocker as well. All right, we got to get a goal here. Let's uh, let's take the lead. Let's take the lead. We got Patrick Marlowe, the true captain. Some say it's so. Here we go. Toe Driggy. Short scissor. Oh! Varley gets that glove up and makes a nice save. You know what? That was just great positioning. Okay, I got to pull off a move here. Another super sweet coming down. Soderberg. You know what I'm doing? Flying poke. Jackie trips him. Martin Jones. Like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Get over here. He's got the puck, the wide open cage, so I take out his legs from underneath him. Get the hell out of here, you stupid super Swedes. That's two shots for the Swedes, they don't even register one. Logan Couture, leading point man, here we go. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's just do a simple shot here. Let's do a simple shot, let's do a simple shot. Oh baby, what? Again? Give me a break! Wide open! Roof it, Logan! <laughs> ah. Alright, alright, we gotta win this, man. 
I, I want to have a good shootout commentary today. Da dirty birdie, baby! Stick out that filthy wing and make a save. Jerome McGinley. What a horrible decision to sign with the Colorado Avalanche in the twilight of your career. Goofball. Joe Thornton. Here we go. No one better. How about this? You stand there and you take it. Fake! Ah, oh, the blocker save! You know what? I'm goofing it up. This goaltender, it's like he's not even moving in the net. He's going butterfly and just allowing the animation to save it for him. All right, I'll, I'll rip it next time. Blake Como. All right, I guess uh, Colorado doesn't have any other better players to put out there. He's coming in. He goes windmill. He goes back. Martin Jones with the save. All right, let's end this now, boys. I want to talk about this damn final. I got a lot of things to say. Mark Edward Vlasic. Let's rip it. Let's rip it, baby. Let's rip it there. Oh, Mark. Oh, God damn it. Stevie Wonder would have better accuracy than that. We got the blind Vasily Saitsev and Stevie Wonder taking shots in this damn shootout. Vlasic. Oh, all right, here we go. He's back skating. He's foot. Oh, you bastard. What a move. He dragged me off the far side post and tucked it home. That was actually really nice looking. Oh, I'm going to goof it up now. Martin Jones. All right, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I got to think of a good move to do. Uh, Roman Pollock. Oh, I'm going to goof it up. Let's do the Gordie Howe. Why not? Let's do the Gordie Howe with Roman Pollock. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Roman Pollock. Ah, oh, you goof. You were supposed to keep skating backwards. Why'd you turn back into him? He did the wide dive and everything, and I goofed it up. Well, I'm sorry, San Jose. Maybe this is a bad omen. Maybe it's bad luck for you guys. It's only a video game. Don't worry. It's not going to matter. No one on the San Jose Sharks watches my videos. Why did he turn back? Roman Pollock. Hopefully, he doesn't flip it out and get a delay a game penalty. He's got a history of that. Anyways, we were talking about uh, the Penguins' history with their 10 years in the Malkin Crosby era. And you know... A lot of people have given the Pittsburgh Penguins a, a rough time in the years that they haven't produced because the way they get eliminated, it's very embarrassing with their goaltending flops or Crosby and Malkin not coming through. In the past, the lack of depth on Pittsburgh has been questioned in the playoffs. You know, but this year, Crosby and Malkin, they don't need to do it all. Phil Kessel, he's got nine goals so far. Sid and Gino combined have ten. Kessel's got one less than th both those guys put together. Rust and Haglin together have ten goals. Benino and Hornfist together have 10 goals. Kunitz, Shiri, and Cullen together have 10 goals. Malkin and Crosby's goals production or goal production has been matched four times over by players like Kessel, Benino, Haglin, Hornfist, Kunitz, Rust, and Shiri. So that problem of lack of depth is not a problem anymore. And that's when you get to see guys like uh, Crosby and Malkin coming through and not being the, not having to shoulder the load. Crosby got his first overtime game-winning playoff goal in the uh, last few games. And that's the kind of that's the kind of skill Crosby and Malkin have, you know? They're under the radar. You're covering all this you're covering uh, Benino, Kessel, and Haglin. All of a sudden Crosby gets out there. He gets a pass from Rust and simply just snipes it short side to win it in overtime. They're a dangerous offensive team now. And they don't have to worry about the flop from Marc Andre Fleury. They got the goalie that they seem very confident with. So it's an interesting final here, boys. And I want to put two questions to you guys. Obviously, the prediction question. I'm not even going to ask that because that's what everyone's going to be saying in the comment section, anyways. Who do you think is going to win? My two questions to you are this. First one Who, ha who has the advantage in net? Martin Jones or Matt Murray, before these playoffs started, basically had no playoff experience. Murray hadn't played a single playoff game, and Martin Jones had only played two games as a backup for LA two or three years, I think it was two years ago. So who's got the advantage in net? If a goaltender change has to happen, do they run with James Reimer? Do they feel confident to go back to Marc-Andre Fleury? What happens with the goaltender situation, boys? I want to know. And also, this is the question I'm, uh, I've been dealing with. If the San Jose Sharks do end up winning the Stanley Cup, who gets to hoist it? I know that Joe Pavelski will go up and shake Gary Bettman's hand because he does have the C on his jersey. But will he do... Will he show a sign of respect, a sign of loyalty? Will he not hoist the cup, take it off of Barry, uh, Gary Bettman's hands, and bring it over to Patrick Marlowe and let him be the first shark to hoist it? Will he give it to Joe Thornton, or will he just hoist it himself? It would be kind of cool to see Patrick Marlowe hoist it. Even though he doesn't have the C, he was the captain at one point, and he has given 18 years to the Sharks, you know? Joe, he's given 11 years. He was the captain as well. Pavelski, he's the new captain. He hasn't served as long, but they're in the final with him as the C, or with him as the captain, so maybe he's doing something right. Who hoists the cup for the, uh, for the San Jose Sharks if they win the Stanley Cup? 
Let me know, boys. Let me know your predictions. Let me know everything. And I will see you tonight in the chat for game number one of the Stanley Cup Finals. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch where the live streams come to life. Whoa!